happening on guys my name is Septile MC and today I'll be bringing you a Pokemon session a VGC session say what that is right guys I'm gonna be playing some VGC and I've recently been getting into it because I became friends with Kevin X-rays ovation ovation nation ovulation man and um, I guess somehow I got into playing VGC I'm not good I am probably the shittiest player you'll ever see at VGC. <laughs> like, it's just not its not a nice thing to see. But we'll go over my team, I guess. Um, Machamp with Wide Guard and Dynamic Punch and Earthquake and Rock Slide. Because Wide Guard is good and the Citrus Berry is good and Max HP is good. I don't know. And Confusion is good. I can't m m m miss a Rock Slide then. Um, so that's that, and then I have Weavile with the Focus Sash with the with the pickup ability. Um, I got the Fake Out um, and the Ice Shard for priority. Ice Go Crash because I don't. It's more powerful than Ice Punch, and the Flinch Chance is there. Night Slash because other stab. Um, and that's Max Attack, Max Speed. Mega Charizard Y because it is the most threatening thing in VGC. I feel with the with the. Heat Wave and the Roost and the Solar Beam, and I have the Ancient Power for other Charizard Ys as well as other Fire Types that take it, um, stuff like that. Venusaur Chlorophyll works well with with the Mega Charizard, and usually I pair these two up if my initial str sh strategy does not work out too well. Then I usually have these two in the back to cover up when I fuck up. Next guy is the MVP of the team right here, is the Marowak, is the Thick Club Lightning Rod. Because I have the Charizard and sometimes people like to use T-Bolt or Discharge, and that's where I put the Lightning Rod over the Rock Head because there is no reason not to. Um, Earthquake, I got the, I have the Bone Meringue as well. Earthquake because at times I have out, let's, let's say my Machamp, and I don't want to really do any damage to it. So I have the Earthquake if I do want to hit all adjacent Pokemon, or I have the Bone Meringue if I don't. It's a nice little combo to have. I have the Rock Slide, for obvious reasons, and the Substitute, just because people usually f usually don't attack M M Marowak, and I don't know why, but they, um, and they don't, and I sub, and then they have a problem on their hands. And the last Pokemon is one that goes hand-in-hand hand with the Marowak, Air Balloon Meow Stick. Now you guys may be thinking, why the hell do you have Air Balloon? It's to power up this guy, man. I can use Earthquake then, and I got the Helping Hand. I got the Safeguard to prevent the burn. I have the Charm in case I have to weaken like a Garchomp, as well as the Fake Out, so I can set up a sub if necessary. So that is the strategy of the team, guys. Um... And let's just get it in. And this is still really loud. There we go. Um, okay, this man's using a pretty similar team. Well, he has the Meow Stick, not really similar at all. Um, but I don't know what he'll lead off with. Probably the Meow Stick is the first lead, so he can get up maybe like the screens or something like that. Um, why is this on so loud? Also, he does have the Chomp and the Mega Blastoise, I'm assuming. Anyways, I'm afraid of the Talonflame. That's kind of respectable. I'm going to lead off with the Meowstic and the Marowak. That seems like a solid lead. Um, I, f I do kind of want the Weavile. Ooh, well, no. I don't really need Weavile. I can... I want the Charizard because I don't want the Sand up. And then I might want the Machamp. No, because then I don't have a count. Uh, do I want my Focus Sash? I might actually want my Sash. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with that because then I can take on the Talon Flame much better. I know I can take a hit with Charizard, but only if I'm at max health. Uh, uh, let's go with Venusaur. Leads off a Talon Flame, which is actually perfect for me. Um, Meow Stick and Marowak. I'm going to go for the Fake Out on the Blaze It, and I'm going to go for a Substitute. And he goes for Quick Guard, which is actually fine by me because he's not going to hit my Marowak. Okay, this is wonderful. I'm actually perfectly okay with this because now I can go for the. Hmm. I'm going. 
going to charm the Talon Flame. No, I'm going to Helping Hand. Why would I not Helping Hand? Helping Hand and Rock Slide. Because Rock Slide actually goes through the Protect, in case people did not know that. And he's not going to be doing anything to me. And that is a dead. That is a dead Talon Flame, which is fantastic. Um, that's a huge threat out of the way. We're going to break the sub. Unfortunately, next turn, he is going to take me out with a... What's it called? With a superpower and get another plus, which is kind of unfortunate. Unless... Well, he has Contra, so I'm not going to charm. That'd be such a bad play. Um, I'm going to charm the Tyranitar... And then I'm going to go for the Earthquake. Maybe, if I'm lucky, we'll be able to do this. No, that's not happening. Whatever, I did get off the Charm, which is actually really helpful. And he's going to go for Crunch, not take me out. Which, I'm sort of unhappy with that. I really wish it actually took me out. Maybe I should not have Charmed. Because now I don't have a say. Well, I, I, I guess i got to go into Charizard. Oh, I guess I know what I'm going to do. Well, I'm going to Charm again. On this thing. And the reason why is because I can Mega Evolve. And I can go for the Heat Wave. And I really need that. Because that means that if I charm this thing, I can take a Rock Slide. I'm pretty sure of that. I can take a Rock Slide at minus four. I hope. And Heat Wave should kill that fucking Ursula. And live the Rock Slide. Yes, I do. Which is, this is great. Um, now I have to go into Venusaur. It is my Life Orb Sweeper, so I should be okay. He does have this, which is really rather unfortunate. But I have HP Rock also on this thing, because usually they think that... Well, HP Rock for Talon Flames, basically. Now, I can double Solar Beam. That's not a problem, but I might want to put the Garchomp to sleep, actually. That might be the best play I can do. Well, no. I might miss, so that would be a waste. Um, let's just go for the Life of Solar Beam there. And let's go for the Solar Beam here. And hopefully this works. Solar Beam that does a lot of damage. Oh my god. And Solar Beam that. Please kill. Yes. So that is dead. What is he going to go for? He goes for Earthquake. That's... I question that play, but you know what? That's going to be game. That was a GG, actually. I'm not gonna... Why, why would I not go for two solar beams? There is no reason not to. Um, GG, man. <laughs> um, and our ranking goes higher. We are actually doing okay on the ladder. And it is. And now let's see how long we've been recording. Eight minutes. I think I'm gonna call it for part one. So, till next time, guys.